Hello and welcome to the Evan Clifton Show. I'm Joe Wamba. Join now with Evan Clifton, head coach of the program. And coach, you guys get to host another home event on yeah. uh, Friday, playing Penn State Harrisburg. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. you know, a little bit of a disappointing performance on the men's side, sure. but a strong performance on the women's side. Yeah. Yeah. Two sides of the coin in there. Yeah, yeah, certainly. Uh, the men's side, you know, we, we knew both. We knew it was going to be a close match. We knew it was going to be a tough match. We knew it wasn't something that we were definitely going to win or definitely going to lose. We knew it was going to be up in the air. Um, you know, and it really, unfortunately, it, we, we lost two and three doubles, and that has sort of been uh, the crux of all of our losses mm-hmm. this spring is just not, you know, we're, we've done great at one doubles. We've done fantastic at one singles. Um, but two and three doubles have really hurt us a lot. Um, we just haven't been able to pull out matches in, in close games, really. Um, and, you know, what was disappointing with, with this match was, uh, you know, even though scores were, you know, like 8-3, 8-1, or 8-2 at two and three doubles, uh, all the games were close. We mm-hmm. got to deuce a lot. We got a lot of break points, a lot of game points. Um, and in the rallies in those points, we got the shots we wanted. We got the chance to put it away at the net, um, but we didn't take it. You know, we, did, we, were, we were more content to, to block them back. And so, you know, we, we're going to work on that this, this, this week in practice, and we're going to, you know, we're certainly going to bring that killer instinct that we were missing um, when we play Shenandoah on Friday on the men's side. Um, women's side, however, uh, you know, match was great. I mean, we had, it was similar to the men, and a lot of matches were close. One doubles was, uh, we won 8-6, it was one break. Two doubles, we were down 5-2, and came back and won that match 8-6. Um, Colleen Martin was in her first match of the spring and, and really helped dominate three doubles uh, with Nina, Nina Bretz. And then Colleen went on and, and won her singles match fairly easily in straight sets. Um, but in singles on the women's side, we had, you know, we had a three-set match at one, which, um, which Jenna pulled out. And we had a three-set match uh, at three singles, which Kelsey pulled out. And you know, Kelsey probably didn't have her A game, but found a way to win. And that's, you know, that's what you need to do in close matches. You're not always going to have your A game. And you know, the fact that um, you know, she's had her winning streak and, and as a freshman is able to, to find a way to win and dig deep you know, with her B or C game is, is pretty remarkable. And so you know, women's team's feeling great. You know, we, uh, we really put it all together Friday, um, pulled out that nice win, and we'll carry that over to Shenandoah. Um, the men's side, you know, we know what we need to correct. We've, you know, we were working on it this weekend with some guys, and we'll be back at it all week in practice. Um, you know, and also, and Brian had a fantastic, another great match at one singles, another straight set win. Uh, you know, he's on an absolute roll. So, you know, hopefully we keep that going, and the other guys can pick up their level a little bit uh, Friday, and then we can get a win at Shenandoah and uh, prepare us for Saturday at Lycoming. And it's sometimes with team sports like this, you see some people having some success. Generally, the women's team would see the men's team having success, but now yeah. it's the men's team seeing the women. Right. What does that do in terms of motivation yeah. to get out there, keep working hard, and turn it around? Sure. Yeah, I think that, that definitely adds a little bit of fuel to the fire. You know, makes it you, when you're seeing the other, you're happy. I'm sure they're happy. The, mm-hmm. the women's team are doing well, but. Uh, you know, when you see one team celebrating, the other team feeling dejected, you want to be that team that's celebrating too. So, um, you know, and I, I mean, like I was saying, you know, guys were hitting this weekend. You know, mm-hmm. We were we're back at it, so I know they're motivated. I know we're we're going to put in the work, and and you know, we're just we're just ready for Friday, ready to get another chance to set things right, and uh, you know, and then prepare us for Lycoming. What did uh, this week? You're going to be spending a lot of time on those uh, doubles sure. uh, efforts. What does that do to get you ready for Shenandoah? And then what does the Shenandoah match do to get you ready for the Lycoming and the rest of the conference schedule? Sure. Yeah, well, um, yeah, I mean, we're going to, on the men's side, doubles is going to be a huge focus. Again, mm-hmm. we, we can't go into singles down 2-1 or 3-0. You know, we, we need to be in the lead. That's that's how we've always done it. That's how we, we were so successful last year. We went into, I mean, every match we won, we went into singles with either a 3-0 sweep lead or a 2-1 lead. Mm-hmm. And it just it puts so much less pressure on you in singles, and it doesn't feel like you have a mountain to climb to win the match. Uh, so that's definitely, that's, like I said, that's going to be a huge focus of ours, putting away volleys and being the aggressive team at the net like we know uh, we need to be. Um, you know, Shenandoah is a good team. It's a team we beat on the men's side last year 8-1, but it was a much closer match than that. Uh, they have a lot of new guys, um, so they're a lot better. The women's side we lost last year, um, you know, so we're sort of trying to right that wrong on the women's mm-hmm. side. And then the guys' side, we know we're in for a dogfight. It's going to be a tough team. You know, it's going to, but if we can, we can play the way we know we can play and keep, you know, the match we have a close match or we, we pull out a win, then we should be riding very high for Lycoming because you know if we can have success against Shenandoah, then we definitely should be should be fine here Saturday at home. Is it difficult to play matches back to back days? You guys did it a lot during spring break because we're playing right. you know four matches that week. Is it tough to do that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we don't really look at it that way. I mean, the only sort of 
difficulty in that is that if you play bad on that first match, you don't have much time mm -hmm. to work on things and find those strokes before you turn around and play the next day. Um, but as far as from a from a physical point, um, no, I, I really don't think it's it's too tough. I mean, a lot a lot of teams sometimes even play two matches in one day, double headers and things. And I mean, you see other sports too. Mm -hmm. Baseball plays double headers. They mm -hmm. played one Friday and. Um, so, I mean, that's something that, you know, I, I personally don't think makes too much of a difference, and, and I don't think any of, any of my guys or girls approach it that way in a negative way at all. Okay. Well, Coach, I thank you for your time this week, and uh, good luck against thank Shenandoah you. and, you know, righting the ship and getting things going in the conference schedule against Lake Thank you. We look forward to it. He's Evan Clifton. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Evan Clifton Show.